This simple roadmap is all you need to crack 800 all in the rank 100 if you had just started your gate preparation. Because this roadmap was made by studying the preparation strategies of all previous gate all in the rank 1. Uh, so it's been full day, I've been researching here at IIT Madras. Reviewing gate toppers and understanding struggles faced by current gate aspirant and adding scientific solutions to it. Along with the roadmap, I have added apps to beat procrastination and staying consistent. And best free resources for your gate preparation if you are a self-study student. So let's start. First things first, get the basics right. Rule 1. Never miss this deadline. Almost all the toppers finish their syllabus by November and in last two months they revise and give a dozens of tests. And you know what? The real rankers are made in the last two months. Step 2. Get into monk mode. Basically disappear. Say no to everything apart from gate. I have uninstalled uh, Instagram. I have deactivated Facebook. And I have changed my SIM card and uh, I have started using that new SIM card for WhatsApp. No friends, except the really closed one who support you in your preparation and work only on gate. Now in the later parts of the video, along with the apps that will help you to stay consistent, I'll share some of the four topper study hacks which they had learned after making a lot of mistakes. And my favorite one is the third one. So rule three, get your mindset right. You know half of the battle is actually mental. So how to win mind games? First, have a burning desire. I still remember on the first day of my gate coaching, an introduction session was held by one of the gate topper, who is also an ex IES officer. He told that out of all the characteristic traits he had, having a burning desire was most helpful to him. Because once someone is obsessed with gate, then there is no obstacle that can stop you. Second, believe in yourself. Many aspirants, including myself, we start our preparation with full enthusiasm and after a couple of months and things are getting tough, we feel we are unworthy for gate. So let me tell you a story of Kajol. No, I'm not talking like that. I'm talking about San Diego Ramon Y. Kajol. He was a Spanish neuroscientist who won the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1906 for the work on his structure of neuron. This was at the time when there was no advanced technology to visualize the workings of brain. In his early years, Kajol was very rebellious in nature. He even ended up in jail at the age of 11. Until 21, he haven't started his formal education. But this did not define him. Later, he began his academic career and eventually held professorship at several prestigious universities and won Nobel Prize. Because scientifically, no matter what age you start learning, your brain will mature. Maybe we are slow in the beginning, but we will catch it up. Whether you think you have a good memory or not, it's a fact that you can train your brain to learn faster and to achieve mastery. Catch it up. Thirdly, persistence. No need to say test series will make you feel worthless and uh, you have to persevere. See, there is a nice quote I have read in the diary of CEO of book. It says, failure is equal to feedback, feedback is equal to knowledge, knowledge is equal to power. So failure gives you power. So will you persevere? Rule four, always keep your system at its best working condition. Good sleep, exercise, good food is actually a foundation for excelling in maths and science. Anyways, now let's get into the core preparation strategy. So before moving on to the strategy, a quick question. How many of you have watched gate guidance videos and let the information pass through just like that? If yes, will you take your pen and note it down on your first or last page of your short notes? Also 77% of the viewers in this channel are just watching without subscribing. It's actually a pain. So subscribe as it will motivate me to create more content. Now you need to understand the word gate. Gate means general aptitude test and engineering. Aptitude test we can do by mathematical skills, language proficiency or logical thinking. In gate, same thing one has to do using engineering concepts. Here 98% of the questions will be numericals. So understanding this will divide our preparation into two parts. First six months we call foundation phase. And last two months the actual gate preparation phase. Last two months is called gate preparation because quality of your preparation during that phase will, de will determine how best you will get a good rank. Before moving on and for self-study students, here are some of the best resources for preparing gate exam. First, NPTEL. Second, check out repeated coaching center's YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the particular subjects. And when choosing the playlist, choosing the one which covers the entire syllabus in less hours is preferred. If you don't know how to find, just type the coaching name, subject name and the playlist and you will get it. 3. For PVQs, also nowadays many coaching institutes made the PVQs available free in their websites with solutions but my recommendation would be to buy a good PVQ booklet as there will be questions and solutions organized in each topics will be much more convenient for you. Finally for test series, I strongly recommend you to invest in a good test series. This is actually an investment that you should not skip. Last 2 months of your preparation hugely depends on this so make a wise choice. One thing while learning in self-study is you have to cover the right depth in the right circumference and if you are someone looking for 
for coaching, check out Gatewala as their courses are qualitative and affordable. And you can use our code RAGU500 for 500 rupees off. Batch details. Parakram 2.0 Gate 2025 English and English Batch 7200 rupees. Vijay 2.0 Gate 2025 Rank Improvement Batch at 5400. Parakram 2025 plus ESC plus Gate plus PSU Batch D at 11999. Sresha 2026 ESC plus Gate plus PSU Batch D at 15999. Sresha 2.0 Gate 2026 plus PSUs plus Placement Preparation Batch B. CS and IT at 5999. Sresha Gate 2026 Chemical at 5999. Parakram 2025 CS and DA at 9999. Batch. Parakram 2.0 Gate plus PSU plus Placement Preparation 2025 Batch 11999. Gate 2025 Test Series at 499. Also experience Infinity Learning with PWO offering Gate Kazana, PYQ Books and more. The classes will be Monday to Friday by best faculties of India. You will get topic-wise practice sheets with live discussion and doubt engine to help with doubt. Regular test and PYQ in quiz form. Enroll now using our code RAGU500. So, chalo, let's start the preparation. Along with it, I'll share 5 evidence-based tips your study session. And by the end of it, I'll share you the 4 apps that will help you to stay consistent and breed procrastination during your preparation. Chalo, let's start. Step 1. Understand. Concept that you are learning every day after the class, you must understand. Understanding is the key. Without understanding, you can't able to solve tricky or creative problems. So how can we understand it better? Step 2. Practice. Once and when you complete the class, solve practice problems. Solve PYQs. Ideally, past 15 to 20 years is needed. As Barbara Oakley puts in her book, when we just understand the concept, it will be vaguely registered in the brain. To make it firmly stored in the brain, you have to practice it. As you can see, the more you practice, the firmer, darker and stronger your mental patterns become. Some of the questions will be of repeated nature during this process. Repetitive questions करने का फायदा नहीं होगा plus आपका time भी waste होगा और आपकी नई learning भी नहीं होगी इसलिए just skip it. This was your first study hack. Don't solve obvious. Instead, solve different types of problems and make sure to increase the difficulty of the problems gradually. If you are still not confident after PYQ, solve some of the previous year EAC problems that will really help. Step 3. Short notes. Now, once the practice is done, make short notes, which has to include concepts in one-liner, formulas, the name of the variables in the formulas, its units, and important derivations. Because sometimes questions will be from the, you know, steps of the derivation. Now, how to effectively make a short notes? I found a simple system that was popularly used by American students. It's called Cornell Note Taking, popularized by Walter Park from Cornell University. For our purpose, we will modify the Cornell note taking system a little bit. Basically, you have to split the note into three parts. In the top left and top right are like your regular pages where you can write the concepts in one line formulas and the name of each term in the formula and whatever I mentioned. You have to use it like a regular note. Now study hack 2. In short notes, note down the common values that often comes in the exam where we use the calculator a lot. Like if you know the value of pi by 4, you can reduce these steps in exam. And if you are more ambitious, you can find out the repeating values that comes along with it. Like if d is equal to 5 mm or 10 mm is very often, you can find the area values for this particular diameter. This will save a lot of time in your exams. So hack number 2, find shortcuts. Got it. And this bottom portion guy is reserved for noting down the mistakes. So whenever mistakes you make, note it here with green color. Yes, you have to use the green color because that color is something normally we don't use. So when we go through the formula notes in final stages, it will pop up. Now, step four, revision. The purpose of the revision is to improve the understanding and to make sure we remember the information so that before we enter into the last two months, which is actually the actual gate preparation phase, we should be able to remember all the concepts. It appears next to impossible, but if we scientifically revise, we'll be in a much better position. For that to happen, we need to know scientifically how to revise and how to make permanent memory. First, how to keep the information in the memory permanently. For example, if I ask your mobile number when you sleep, you will most often remember it. But if if I ask the OTP that you have used to log into Zomato for your dinner, now you might struggle. Now why a digit that is bigger, you remember it, but why a smaller number you haven't remembered it? The reason is you have recollected your mobile phone number again and again so that it stores in your brain memory permanently. And that's what science says. There are two types of memories. One is temporary memory and the other one is permanent memory. Temporary memory is like remembering the OTP. It will vanish after a particular time. Our permanent memory is like our library where once you had put the information there, it will store permanently you can't forget it that's where our fourth study hack comes in which is spaced repetition which says when you memorize something the information you put in it will have initially 100 percentage 100 percentage means you remember 100 percentage of the information 
and it will vanish 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 like this but if you recollect it when it was around 40 40 percentage means that after a certain amount of time has passed you have forgotten 60 percentage and retain 40 percentage of the learned information then in the second time the information will fade away very slowly and if you do the same thing again beyond a certain point the information will fade very slowly so that it will be in our memory forever so how it looks like in real life skip it if you understand it this is for those who didn't understand first time when you learn something it may take a day to forget then if you revise in the second day you might lose the information in fifth or sixth day and again if you had done the revision in fifth day it may take a month to forget that exact number no one actually knows but this is the pattern i'll give you a simple system for you to implement this but before that study hack number five don't reread while revision there were numerous studies which claims that rereading is ineffective just by rereading of what you learn will not help you in memory the way the brain actually works is it will retain information when you take out of it we don't learn by trying to put stuff into our brains we actually learn mm -hmm. intuitively by trying to take stuff out of our brain it's replicating the information from scratch as if teaching a class without looking at your notes that is the only way to learn they all became masters by doing the input and more of the output. As the saying goes, teacher is always the one who learns the most because he takes the information out of the brain. So whenever you decide to revise a particular subject or topic, instead of passively rereading it, just recollect the information. For example, let's say you decide to revise a particular portion. For, try to recollect all the concepts either by writing it or saying it, then solve some problem without looking. And if you can't able to recollect it, then go back and then take the notes and then actually study the material. And by this, way it makes sure that information will be registered in your memory so deep so active recalling instead of passive reading and if you do active recalling you can actually save time because you are learning it first revision same day revision it is as and when the classes are over study and solve the problem second revision next day revision it is when you finish your everyday studies of that particular respective day class after that set a timer for just 25 minutes recollect the last day concepts and try to solve one or two problems without looking at the notes and while doing it if you can't able to recollect just please go back and study it third revision end of the week revision by the end of the current week the concepts and problem that you had learned from day one to day six recollect it fourth revision end of subject revision by the end of each subject pick one subject which you are least confident in and revise the subject you will finish the revision in you know one day approximately just revise all the concepts and solve the crucial problems which covers all the concepts fifth revision end of syllabus revision once all the syllabuses were over means once you finish the last subject just revise all the subjects a to z before starting that revision you need to remember in gate exam 98 percentage will be numericals isn't it so majority of your revision time should be on numericals also here i recommend splitting the day into two parts let's say you have 10 hours a day of study then split it into two halves where in the first half you study one subject and the second half study another subject parallelly this was actually told by one of my professor when i was preparing gate exam he's a gate ranker also works in drdo also for his passion he came and teaches he told this us this is actually the final revision and you have to before it november but if you can't be able to do the final revision before november take the first one to two weeks of december and try to finish it that is the maximum deadline that you can extend if you had done the periodic revision properly, then you can actually finish at this point. Now, here is one pro tip. Initially, try to avoid the test series. Remember, the last two months is actually the gate preparation. The earlier you start it, the better. So keep the test series for the gate preparation. So now finally, let's actually prepare for gate exam. But before that, quickly have a look at the four apps that will help you to beat procrastination and staying consistent. My first app recommendation is Freedom. It is an app which will help you to block certain sites when you are studying. Also, you can sync in with laptop so that while you are working, you can't be able to browse Instagram, YouTube, these kind of stuff. Second is Notion. Notion is where I actually plan my everyday because it is a combination of something like Google Sheets, Google Calendar and uh, Google Docs. Also, I'm attaching my Notion template on how I plan my day. It's free. Go check it out. The link in the description. Just plan your day. That is actually very important. And third one is Forest. This is the most satisfying app I ever used because it helps me increase my focus focus let's say you were studying okay like activate this uh, forest there's one tree that will grow nicely if you go out of the app it will actually you know die it's actually sad to see a tree die but like if you if it actually grows like it, it will feel satisfied so it actually helps me to study with more focus and finally you know gpt you know nowadays gpt is doing some incredible things i recently bought this chat gpt 4 over and i asked you know to solve some questions by sending the picture it actually solved it now let's go back to the gate preparation 
Rule one. This is a rule that you should do at all cost in the last two months, every single day till before the last one week of exam. The first two hours has to be on aptitude and max. Cause aptitude and max will give you 28 marks. No other subject is valuable as this. Now you might be thinking, Raghu, if I prepare only max and aptitude, will I able to qualify? Yes, you are right. You will almost qualify in all the core branches. See, I'm giving you a lot of hacks to succeed in gate exam. You should subscribe. You know. 77% of people not subscribing is hurting. Okay, now in this first two hours, try to skip the problems which you obviously know the answer. Try different problems, try difficult problems, that's the key. Rule number two, during the last two months, give at least 20 full length markers. While giving full length rest from the beginning, you should start working on your time management and accuracy. Times and times, every repeater on why he can't be able to crack in first attempt was accuracy and the second reason is ego when you stuck in a question just quit and move on because scientifically when you fixated on an idea you can't able to think creatively i know one time while i was giving the interview for mtech research in iit delhi the professor told me to draw the bending moment diagram of simply supported beam i guess with uniformly distributed load i had drawn it and he had asked me to what does it physically signify at that point, I don't know what to say. I can't able to recollect it. And after the interview, while I was bringing chai, I realized, oh yeah, that's how I have to say. So science says, when you get stuck on a problem, simply start solving and solve the next ones. And after solving one or two problems, if you come back, you will actually see some better progress. But needless to say, sometimes the problems are very tough. At that time, just respect and move on. Not everyone is able to get 100, right? So just move on. And after the test, analyze it, whatever the topics that you are lagging in, solve more different and difficult problems, find questions outside of PYQs and DPPs and solve it. When I was preparing in coaching, they will give you two workbooks for a subject. One is where the concepts and practice problems are discussed and the other is where additional tricky questions are discussed. Try to utilize that if your coaching has given or otherwise then check for good previous year ESC questions. Rest we can manage from the questions of test series. Also the last two months or 45 days is where you have actively experiment how you are going to approach the full length test. Try solving one exam from question one to question 65. Next time have a glance over the question then solve the question one to 65. Next time start from the technical then whenever you get stuck then go to aptitude and then come to you know then and then bounce back to technical. Just experiment it and find your own recipe. Everyone has their own strategy. And don't get disappointed if you are not performing well because we learn a lot from failures than from success. So fail faster, fail better, make all the mistakes before the gate exam. And on the day of the exam, just go and just give your best. You know, sometimes people who prepare the best, they can't able to fulfill their potential. But sometimes people, they scored 40-50 in their full length test just before one week. They scored 70-75. So there are many things that is out of our control. The thing that is actually we have to focus on is what is in our control. What is in our control? Preparation, revision, all the stuffs and giving best. Then marks will take care of itself.